I want you to think about how it feels to have butterflies in your stomach. Multiply that by 10, and that can't even begin to describe how I felt when I missed my flight to Colorado. I was supposed to go visit my girlfriend for her sorority's formal, but when I missed my flight, I experienced more emotions than I could handle. I felt like I left her down, but I did learn a lesson. I was going to school in North Carolina, and I had a 7 a.m. flight that I was supposed to wake up for, at 5 o'clock for. I had spent Wednesday night pulling an all-nighter, studying for school because I had put it off. And then, on Thursday, because I pulled the all-nighter, I was dead tired. But I was afraid that if I slept, I wouldn't wake up for my flight and I would miss it. And I couldn't do that. So I decided that I was going to pull an all-nighter and I sat on the couch, watched TV. Next thing I know, it's 8.14. I don't know what happened, I fell asleep. At this point, I couldn't process what happened. Then I got angry. All I could do was scream. I screamed, I punched my hands. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't process it. And then, and then from there, I started thinking. I, I let down Caitlin. Caitlin was my girlfriend. I had made a promise to her that I would be there for her. I would be her date. Now I'm not even going to be in the same state. I let her down. That's on me. And then from there, I was confused. I didn't know what happened. I was making the conscious decision not to go to sleep so I wouldn't miss my flight. I missed my flight because I fell asleep. I was sitting on the couch, and next thing I know, it's 8.14. My flight should have already been landed in the next state. All this affected me in such a way that I, I don't even know where to start. When I, from, from there, I started trying to rethink my priorities. You know, why did I have to pull the all-nighter? I had to pull the all-nighter on Wednesday night because I put off my schoolwork. I decided to hang out with friends and watch some TV maybe play a little, video, a little bit of video games, instead of taking the extra hour, maybe two hours a night, to study, to do my schoolwork, so I wouldn't have to do, pull an all-nighter. Not to mention, and then from there, you know, it's all time management. You know, it's these simple things that I could have done differently, and that's on me. And it all ties into priorities. So I started thinking about myself, and what my priorities really are, you know, how I kind of messed up. I mean, it's not the first time I've messed up. It ties into different things I've done with my life. But Caitlin, my girlfriend, she's a priority, you know? So I couldn't just not go to her formal. I had made a promise that I would be there. You know, that's my word. I can't walk away from what I had told her I would do. So I started looking for flights. I had spent $270 on my original flight out there. My new flight that I had to be there for later in the afternoon was $450 on top of that. And then they, had, they charged me with a $200 change fee that I had to pay. This is money I didn't have. I had to ask my parents to lend me the money. So I, and then I would pay them back. But I made that promise and I had to be there. So I owed up to it. And I was lucky enough that my parents helped me out. So I talked, I didn't even book the flight. I drove straight to the airport trying to get the first flight I could get. And I got that $400 flight, luckily. And I got there in the snow. It was negative, negative one degrees in Colorado. And I had to take an hour and a half shuttle to Fort Collins. I still almost missed the formal. We got there with five minutes to spare. It was, it was close, but I'm a man of my word and I don't back down. So when you look at me and you look at this event, it really helped me kind of reshape what I have to do, you know, my priorities. That there's only so much you can do, you know, but it's these little things or these big things, you know, that really point out to you what's important in life, where you're messing up. They make you rethink things. So what started out as a major problem now it's something I can look back and laugh on 
and it taught me something about myself and made me a better person. Thank you. I will floor you. You kind of seemed like you were about to tear up a little.